many of these children, they come in from Burma, they have no idea. They come in from such a different environment, with a different experiences. This is a totally new world to them. Picture a kindergartner coming in with no education at all and now being educated and expected to do what American students are expected to do. These kids have really been through a lot and yet here they are. Mincine and her family arrived from Malaysia just about one year ago. She was very shy, but within a couple of weeks, we were making a connection. They are a family that truly values education, and so it was very important she start school as quickly as possible. We had the largest increase of refugee children in the state. The school system and the principals, we all met together, and they said they would really like an after-school program. They thought that would be absolutely wonderful and would be a huge help to the students. Their struggles at the beginning is speaking. The children are confused and devastated because everything sounds like a gibberish to you. You don't know what people are saying. This program is, is called the School Impact Program and it is for refugee students who have been here three years or less. We are working to catch them up academically, and then we are working with the families to make them feel like they are a part of the school system here. The teachers are working on their reading and their writing and their math skills, but I also think it helps them communicate and not feel so isolated. This is their ticket to great success later in life. The refugees bring their culture into our classroom. These children have had experiences that our children have not. It's very enlightening to them. When I started teaching Nancy, my first impression was this child doesn't know the word of English because she never said anything. She is just so determined to learn. You just see her really working hard on everything. She's doing such a great job that I do believe that at the end of the year she's going to be just what she's supposed to be. In just a few short weeks, they go from being very shy and timid to children who are very outspoken, will raise their hand, interact with each other. When they say just one little word in the right time, in the right moment, it's like, yeah, way to go. It's time where you're reminded of why you love this job. This is truly a partnership. They are helping the children to become acclimated to school, helping the parents, and being that true partner, not just a person who gets the children into this country. They may have that as their first responsibility, but it's not their last responsibility. There's no way that we could have accomplished what we do here at Trent Park without um, the support of Interfaith. These children, when we go to lunch, they eat all of their lunch, they drink all of their milk. They are very grateful. They smile all the time. They love to be here. They love to be in school. I hope that Nansen is able to live life knowing the freedom that we have here without fear. This is not just a hope. I, I certainly believe that we're gonna hear about that child. That she's gonna be able to go to college and she's gonna be able to get a great job and she's gonna be the one tomorrow helping somebody else because she will remember the days when she was in school when she needed to be helped.